Welcome back to my channel. This is Kumebi here again with another video. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to make a scrunchy headband with plastic. In my previous videos about scrunchy headbands, I showed you the one I made without plastic. I showed you the one that I made using Ashoki. But then this one is a different type of scrunchy headband. So I just want to do a couple of different hair accessories. So you guys get to choose which one you like to rock for yourself. I know most of the time I'm doing videos like this, I usually do voiceovers, but this time I just decided to sit down here to do this intro for you guys. So yeah, I want to quit talking. I, I found that you guys don't like when my videos are too long. So now going forward, I'm going to be going straight to the point. No beating about the bush. So in today's video, we're going to be learning how to make this headband, like I said. So in case you'll be interested in knowing everything about how I made this for myself, make sure you watch this video to the end. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and yeah, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so it's time for us to get into the tutorial. And as usual, I will start off by showing you guys every single pin required for making this particular headband. This time, the plastic is going to be going through the headband. And don't worry, like I said, I'm going to show you guys everything I did in order to achieve that very cute, stunning headband that you guys saw on me at the beginning of the video. So first of all, we are going to start off by measuring 42 inches of fabric so this fabric is on fold that's why i measured 21 inches and i'm also going to be measuring a length now so the how wide the fabric is is going to be eight inches feel free to make it bigger or smaller than the dimension that i'm using depending on how wide or how minimalistic you want your own headband to come out. If you're making something for maybe your baby girl or your niece and you don't want something too bogus, feel free to reduce the dimension that I'm using. Anyway, so this is me now. This is my full piece of fabric, 42 inches of fabric. And I'm going to go ahead to fold this fabric into two along the width now, not the length. I'm going to fold it along the width. So I'm going to have four inches now so eight inches divided by two will give you four inches so once i'm done doing that i'm going to pin my fabric right and then take it to my machine but before we get to that point i need to measure six inches along the length of the fabric so along the length which is the 42 inches measure six inches and along the width now which is the four inches that we have now the four inches eight inches on four there's not four inches measure three inches i measured two inches here and when i went along in the video i realized that yeah i wasn't getting the results i want so measure three inches along the width and six inches along the length of the fabric measure that um, dimension now on the two sides and then take it to your sewing machine and then sew your fabric all across close every part but then leave two inches or thereabouts along the length of the fabric and that space you're leaving is for passing the plastic headband now through the fabric i hope you guys understand everything that i'm mentioning in this video so this is me just cutting off the excess piece of fabric on the length now you guys saw the way i sewed the fabric at this point i had not closed everywhere and this headband was really like an experiment for me i made some discoveries along the line as i was making them and as usual whenever i bring these tutorials to you you guys don't have to repeat my mistakes right i'm here to shorten the learning curve for my family members on here so don't do what i'm doing here close everywhere leave two inches space along the length of the fabric and then you're turning the fabric through that two inches of space that you left along the length in order to just turn your fabric inside out feel free to use you know stones and all of that on your headband if you are not interested in using stones you don't have to do it and like i said in my previous video where i showed you how to make the ashoki headband if you want to put stones especially if you're at home if you're not running like a proper business right and you don't have the stoning machine to attach stones to your diy projects all you need to do is get a good steam iron and then press on those stones now i'm wrapping my plastic headband using the same piece of satin fabric that i used to make the main part of the headband now i'm just wrapping it all around and using my glue gun just to glue down the fabric onto the plastic headband that I'm using now. And the reason why I'm wrapping the plastic headband now with a satin fabric is because we're going to do a little bit of hand sewing. And if I use just regular plastic headband, sewing will be almost impossible, right? So you need to have something like a fabric wrapping up 
the plastic headband and now that i'm done i'm just cutting all the flyaways and then using my lighter here just to burn off all the flyaways feel free to leave out this part if you don't really care since the plastic headband is going to be inside the main headband that you're making it doesn't matter but because i'm just a perfectionist like that i didn't like the fact that i was seeing flyaways everywhere so i just felt the need to burn off those flyaways so what i'm doing now is i'm now passing my plastic headband through the two inches space that i told you guys to leave along the length of the fabric that's where you're going to pass your plastic headband through and then just push it till you get to the end you know you've already sewed everywhere so there's no space the plastic headband is supposed to fit into the space here so the reason why i told you guys to measure three inches is because when i was making my own the first time i measured two inches and i found that securing the plastic headband inside this headband was a bit difficult but once you make your your three inches you know so three inches securing the plastic headband inside the headband becomes very very easy all you need to do is just hold this in place and then do a little bit of tacking with your needle and thread just like i'm doing here and yeah like i said earlier this video is just to help you you know avoid unnecessary mistakes while doing your own hair accessory diy diy project so all i'm doing now is just tacking that part of the fabric where i want to secure my plastic headband and once i'm done doing this i'm just going to pass the other hand of the plastic headband through the fabric like right the long piece of fabric and then also secure the edge of the plastic headband on the other side as well what i'm doing now is just using my needle and thread to secure the two inches space that i use to pass the plastic headband through if you don't if you don't really know how to do hand sewing or you are just not interested in doing that you can also take it to your sewing machine and then so just do whatever works for you i just decided to do hand sewing just to show you guys that it can be done all it needs is just patience make sure that your hand stitches are very very neat try not to rush the process so what i'm doing now is also securing that part of my plastic headband it took the second part of the arm now is it the arm they will call it anyway you guys understand what i'm saying and voila we are done this diy project is very simple very easy and i can't wait to see your recreations as well feel free to tag me in your pictures whenever you go ahead to recreate any of the diy projects that i share with you guys on here i'm going to go ahead to show you guys what it looks like on me this is me i just packed my hair in a very simple bun and this is what i have on my hair it looks absolutely stunning and this is just another way to make a headband for yourself and then you get to decide which one of the headbands you like do you like the one where you pass the plastic through or the one where you sew your scrunchie on top of the plastic or just just let me know which one is your favorite type of headband so far that i've shown you guys i have another awesome tutorial coming your way so make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're yet to be subscribed that tutorial is going to blow your minds away and i don't want to give you guys tips in this video i want you guys to be amazed when you finally see that video so i'll see it most likely before easter you guys will see that tutorial on this channel if you enjoyed watching this video please as usual don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up share this video with your friends leave comments down below with your questions suggestions thoughts and all that good stuff again thank you guys so much for watching i love and appreciate you guys i can't wait to see you in another one bye